So aloha. So we now have a, a little late afternoon meal before heading to the hot pools at five, I think. Yeah. Um, of Polynesian foods. Again, this is about uh, trying interesting foods. So you can eat the same thing twice. This is called palusami. It's a Samoan dish that we found at the farmer's market and went home and microwaved to make sure we were happy with the temperature. Uh, it's taro and uh, coconut milk and onion. And uh, we never had this before, so there's something to try. And here's a lau lau, which we should cut open. Because it's to be shared, so this way we can see what we have here. Lau lau can have different ingredients inside, but a lot of times there'll be pork in there. So there would be pork in here, and then this is taro leaf. And outside of this you can wrap tea leaf or foil or whatever to cook it because it's it's one of those underground oven kind of things. Um, and this here is smoked barbecued pork, which actually goes to very nice. Let me grab the other knife and fork for this little experiment here. It looked delicious. We also found this at the farmer's market today. They were cooking it right there, see? That nice. looks delightful. And um, then finally, we have some poi, which you either like it or hate it or grows on you. And then we have this, which is the Hawaiian candy we got yesterday, which is uh, basically dried ahi uh, tuna. It's, it's actually ahi poke, which is then dried and turned into sort of a semi-jerky. And it makes for a good snack. And it's got limo all over it, so you can see it's got the seaweed stuff all over it, so it's completely... I can imagine the Japanese wanting to take that back from Hawaii somehow, but anyway, that's a different story. Uh, and then of course there's soy sauce, and uh, this is a medium grain rice, and I think we're ready to, to eat, so bon appetit. So here we have dessert now that we're done with the the big earth oven experience without getting the big earth oven exercised at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's start with um, this one. This is a snack. It's a ume. Ume is a uh, dried plum. Seedless in this case, but the cracked seed ones might have the seed in it, but it's been cracked. So it's the same sort of scenario. So if you want to try cracked seed, get some dried plum and get the seedless because it's much easier to eat. To ume is the name of that one. Then there's a dried mango, kind of beaten to smithereens, very flat, and it's got sweetened sugar in it. Um, this here, my friends, if you ever find this at a roadside stand or a little shop or something, made with love here, it's a piece of coconut candy, and um, it is extremely good. It, there's nothing, nothing compares to something like this. I'm sure they've probably fried it in a nasty kind of oil and and turned it into something completely unhealthy, but it's it's extremely tasty. This here is the seed of a um, cacao. Inside the cacao pod, you get cacao beans or seeds, whatever you want to call them. That's what this is, and this one has been roasted, and it has a very dense, rich, dark chocolate flavor without, of course, any sugar. So it is a very intense chocolatey cacao um, flavor. You could probably do very well, as I did last night, eat it with some Kona mud pie ice cream. Very delicious, very mm -hmm. ono. And then we have the more healthy snacks. We have the papayas back here, which are good breakfast foods. Bananas, ap these are apple bananas again. Uh, rambutans, these are getting a little bit past their prime. I'll be honest about that. Um, a Tahitian lemon, which probably goes best with some kind of food. Um, back here, and then of course your macadamia nuts. Uh, we're in Hawaii. And then we have this one, which I believe is called cascaron, but don't quote me on that exactly right now. It's a coconut base. Um, here, we have sort of a mochi. This is actually the mochi one. This one is uh, coconut, so let's have a look inside. This is all dessert sweet and this is for those familiar with tea leaf of course a tea leaf with that great great smell that comes from smoked tea leaves see if you smell this 
you have that s that smoked tea leaf, steamed tea leaf smell, which is totally unique, and it gets into the food and it's lovely. There's a banana base with coconut in here, and it's delicious. Okay, and this one here we haven't had before, but we were told it was haupia. I mean mochi, sorry. Haupia is a whole different thing. Uh, this is mochi here, she said. <coughs> mochi more gooey, as you can see. There you go. And it's got some banana in there as well. If this tastes anything like the one we had last week. Let me see. Yeah, there's coconut in there too. So that's what those things are like. And you just kind of eat them off the, the tea leaf like paper. And uh, that's that. But uh, extremely sweet. A bit like the stuff you get in a Japanese tea ceremony in terms of the sweetness level. And which, of course, everything balances out nicely next to a cup of coconut coffee. So with that, we'll say aloha and uh, ahoy ho.